we are here at Ipsy for Creator Day. It is going to be all sorts of amazing, right? It is, absolutely. There are so many beauty influencers and beauty mm -hmm. creators here with us today. We're going to be hosting and speaking on a panel. Yeah. Let's go do it, guys. Yeah, it's going to be here. so much fun. Oh, they got a photo booth back here. Oh. I look, boy, you look stunning. Ooh, that is so cute. Look at that Ipsy YouTube. That's Thank you. Well, look at you. I love this. Hi, Michelle. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks and we've had, thanks for having us. Lovely. Thanks for having us. Yay, congrats, This panel will include Toddy Westbrook, Frankie Grande, Lynette Sine, Woo! Nikki Philippi, Karen Young, and moderating this awesome panel will be Rachel Smith, who is the host of Style Code Live. What a fun day we've got. Oh, a picture. Hey. How fun is today? This is pretty, we're, we're pumped. Um, my name is Rachel Smith. I'm one of the hosts. Frankie J. Grande is the other host for Style Code Live. What's up? We're really pumped to be here with you guys today for Creator Day with Ipsy and Beauty. Of course, we have an extraordinary panel here for you today. We have the lovely Tati Westbrook, AKA Glam Life Guru. If you don't know her, you need to know her, um, which I don't know many who don't. Then we've got Miss Nikki Philippi. Hi, guys. This girl is a lifestyle kind of lady, living the life, living the dream. Then we've got Miss Karen Young. Hi, guys. Lovely lady, Ipsy creator, beauty influencer as well, and you are like the perfect blend of East and East West. And then finally, last but not least, we've got Miss Lynette Sine. Woo! I mean, look at these ladies. And Gent on this panel, I love it. Uh, but you can say ladies. Lynette, I know, I typically do. I take no offense, what's up? Uh, I just want to tell everyone how long you guys have been on your social media platform and how you got your start. So Frankie will just go down the line. Colleen Ballinger was my best friend and um, still is. And we went to London together. She asked me to be her like star, guest star. And um, we were vlogging every single day. So I was watching her, I was creating the content with her all day. And then I'd watch her edit on iMovie all night. And then she'd post it and then we'd read the comments together and I was like, this is amazing, like, why don't I do this? And she was like, I have no idea why you don't do this. You should do this. So then I just started. I've been doing this for a minute. And um, uh, Nikki actually was the first YouTuber that I met in real life. Yeah, yeah, you were. We went to lunch together and I remember, like, we had this big goal and this big dream of, like, you know, building, you know, our channels and just, I don't know, it's never changed for me. It's always been fast moving. I've always wanted to make my channel better and more creative and I can't believe that I've been doing this for six years and that people, you know, enjoy watching enough that it keeps growing and that I can keep doing it. So, yeah. Yay, Nikki. My very, very long story, really short, uh, it was kind of like a religious experience almost for me because I woke up one day in July of 2010 and I tell everyone I sound crazy if you don't believe in God, but I literally felt like God said to me, get on YouTube. That was it. Like, am I supposed to look up cat videos? Like, I didn't watch YouTubers. I didn't know that it was a thing. And I got on, started finding all these people. I was like, maybe I'm supposed to make a video. Like, maybe I should do it. it took me six months to get the guts to do it. And then six months later, I finally just uploaded, didn't tell anyone, kept it a secret. But pretty much once I uploaded, I just kind of hit the ground running and just kept trying to learn and make videos and grow. And we met not that long after. So yeah, it's been a little over six years. And that is my very long story short. I started back when I was in college and I was an international relations major. And that just meant that I had no creative outlet for me whatsoever. So I decided, I needed to go somewhere just to release this, I guess, stress. It's, it's almost a stress. Um, so I went on YouTube and uh, my boyfriend was actually giving away his old clothes. He was going to donate it to Goodwill. And I was like, hold up a second. Let me take that, chop it up, and just, I made my first video. It's called How I Style Old Tees. And that's just kind of how I started. Um, it's like three and a half years ago now. I actually, I think we're going to start seeing this a lot more and more, but I actually got casted to launch my channel by a production company, which is pretty unique. So, um, it, but it was four years ago this month. So it kind of started and it evolved from there. It was actually a really similar model to what Ipsy does. Um, and then that kind of evolved and I was independent for a while and now I'm in the perfect context with Ipsy, which is such a blessing and I'm so happy to be here. For people starting out, people that are well into their careers as influencers, what's one piece of advice that you would just like to leave them with? I'll start with you, Miss Lynette. 
I think that a conversation that we need to all find our way to be a part of, especially in the beauty community, YouTube, as we're here today, which, I mean, let's just pause for a second and just stay present. This is amazing, right? How good is this? Isn't this a blast? But I think that there's a big conversation that the beauty community specifically hasn't really even learned much about. And if you're watching what's happening business-wise with YouTube Red, there's a lot of things shifting. And so I think being really, really well-researched and well-aware of where it's headed, finding out how to be a personality, and maybe you're not, you're not an actress or whatever, you, you know, aren't really necessarily into that, but watching how you can be a part of that and watching where it's going is I think where people are really going to soar. So do your research and really see where it's headed. Yeah, I 100% agree. Um, it's, I feel like a lot of, us, well, maybe myself, when I went into this, um, I kind of had my head in the cloud and I'm like, oh, it's a dream of mine. I want to just go for it and consequences, whatever. But you got to think of that. You got to think of, you got to work smartly, like you're saying. And what I mean by that is um, keep on the lookout and see what, where the trends are going. So right now, YouTube is changing you might notice that there are a lot more clickbait content right now. So how do you justify that with yourself as a creator? Um, so that, those are things to think about. And I think, I think the, the final tip that I would leave with everyone though is um, just, just don't give up even, it gets really hard. Like I'm year three in, three and a half, and sometimes I'm like, oh my God, like my views could be better, yada, yada, yada. And you're always like hard on yourself but you gotta be your biggest cheerleader because at the end of the day, there's so many haters on the internet that will hate on you. Who cares? I mean, who cares about them? Because at the end of the day, it's all about you. You're the one putting yourself up on the internet. Give yourself a pat on the back that you done. You got this far. Yes, I like that, Kenny. Very well said. Um, I'm gonna kind of ride off of that. I feel like no matter how you feel, just keep swimming, like Dory yeah. says. Because I'm, I'm very moody, like I go through these like up and down, whatever. And a, a feeling that I struggle with a lot, and I know it's really common, is feeling like a fraud. Like, what am I doing here? Like, how did I get this? I shouldn't be up there. I mean, it took me six months to upload my first video. Like, I feel like that says something about me. Um, and I just feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I had given in to the way that I felt. So I think just know sometimes that your emotions can kind of lie to you at points. Like, you're not worth it, you're not good enough. Look at them, they're so fabulous. You can't do that. Ignore it. Just keep going after what you like, fight past the fear and the pain, and I think you will be surprised, at least I hope you'll be surprised, like where you can go and what you can do. Because I just got chills. It's been a wild six years. I've just been, it's been so cool. So keep swimming. It took me four years for anything to start accelerating. There were so many times when I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I spending all this time? Why am I putting the work in? But there is a passion there, and if you have that same passion, then you know, dig into that and explore it and don't stop and don't let people tell you that you can't because if you stay consistent, you're gonna see the payoff eventually. Can I just say too, you do not have to be like, not that you're trying to be this, but you don't have to be like rude or catty or competitive because no, she definitely. has been like the best example of that. Right. It, I mean it. And so, yeah, just, I well, know. I expected like a round of applause and at that <laughs> point that didn't come, but it's uh, whatever. We're gonna have Frankie say one. Uh, yeah, I just, um, in the beginning when you were creating content, you love to read those comments, right? You're scrolling through those comments, and then there's that one comment uh -oh. that calls you something or says <laughs> something, and you, and We've all as been human there. beings, listen, we are genetically wired to remember the things that hurt us because it's like when we were like, like cavemen, it was like fire hot, remember, don't touch again. But so you're only going to remember the bad. You can, there could be 3,000 comments, and you could be scrolling, and that one one that's bad is gonna be the one that you think about for hours and hours and hours and days and days right. and days. And so what I say to you is shine bright like a Frankie, <laughs> and when people throw shade, shine brighter. Yeah. Okay? Just like yes. that shirt. Because it's yes. gonna happen. It does, it definitely happens. And don't remember that one comment. Pastor Thank Frankie. You. Yes, thank you guys so much. And I wanted to like kind of leave my lasting little tidbit as well too. I come from a world of journalism. I studied journalism, then I had a little bout as Miss USA, and then 
ended up going into the hosting a world little bout. <laughs> Uh, crazy along the way, here. Like another lifetime ago, but, um, and I really wanted to get into hard news, and actually entertainment news is what I found that I really loved and enjoyed, and fashion is like what I feel like I live for, and, and have found that in SEL, and what I would encourage to anyone from a hosting perspective, or even as an influencer, do your research, make sure you know that product inside and out, because you're putting out information to people that trust you, that want to follow you, that are listening to your guidance and what you're experiencing with the product. Um, give them your honest feedback and your review because you can see through whatever anyone is saying, um, especially in this world of social media that we live in, you know? Um, and also work efficiently. There's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can say. And just make sure that you're using your time wisely. So, She's I hope my Hermione have... Granger to my Harry Potter. Oh, I love you. She always knows everything. You're so wonderful. I oh, love you, Rachel. Thank you. But you guys are too. And thank you for joining us today, taking the time to, to listen, to be with with us. Take care and thanks again for having us. Good luck. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. All right, that's a wrap on Gem Beauty 2017. Woo, what a day. So awesome. Honored to be a part of it. Hope you guys learned a thing or two along the way like we did. Yes, we totally did. But now it's time for you to get to the chopper. Oh my god. Come on, chopper. Rachel. Yes. Get to the chopper. <laughs>